Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Vlog and today we have a fun video. I've been looking forward to this one because I think it's gonna be really, really useful for you guys. So our goal here at DFB Guide is to make sure that you have valuable information for your trips on Disney Cruise Line or to Disney World or Disneyland. And I think this is one of the most important pieces of information in terms of value that we can share with you and that is where to find the least crowded restrooms. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. We are talking about restrooms here on DFB Guide today in Walt Disney World and believe it or not, it makes a big difference if you can find an uncrowded restroom, especially here in the spring break, summertime, holiday craziness that we're getting into right now at Disney World. Okay, so we're gonna start talking about the least crowded restrooms in all the parks for you, but we're also going to, after that, kind of talk about a couple of really cool restrooms that we just wanna tell you about because they're awesome, <laughs> pretty much. Not because they're necessarily uncrowded, but because they're fun, and so if you happen to be near them, you should go check them out. All right, so let's get to the least crowded. So we're gonna start in Magic Kingdom because that's where many of you guys start as well. So when you're in Magic Kingdom, if you're there during a really busy, busy time, these are the restrooms you wanna run to in order to kind of not have super long lines or maybe have fewer lines. These are some of the least crowded that we've experienced on our visits to the parks. First of all, Gaston's Tavern over in New Fantasyland. This is not too crowded because it's way far away from everything and kind of off the beaten path. So head over to Gaston's Tavern and go over to your right and you will find the restrooms there. Next up are the restrooms over at Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is over in Adventureland and a lot of people don't even realize these restrooms are there. If you're looking at Pirates of the Caribbean, these are gonna be over to the right and you actually have to kind of go through the marketplace to sort of get there. So these are not very well known. They're not right in the path of most people. Some folks don't even know that they're there. And the other kind of not very often used restroom over in the Magic Kingdom is Tomorrowland Terrace. This is one of those counter service locations that's rarely open. So if it's not open, nobody's over there and so nobody's using the restroom. Also because there's another restroom practically right next to it. There's a restroom kind of right next to the plaza restaurant. So the Tomorrowland Terrace restrooms, which are very close to those other restrooms, are rarely used because people A, don't need them, and B, don't even know that they're there. So if you go over to Tomorrowland Terrace, head all the way past the ordering counters, and that's where those restrooms are. And finally, in the Magic Kingdom, we're gonna talk about the Rapunzel's Tower restrooms. So these are over kind of in between Liberty Square and Fantasyland. And uh, you just look for Rapunzel's Tower and you'll see these restrooms. Now these aren't necessarily uncrowded. They're very clearly there. Everybody knows they're there and everybody heads over there. But what's interesting about these is that they're fascinatingly decorated. There's really neat signage in them. There's really great artwork, some good Imagineering details. And there are also some phone charging locations and hidden stumps around the restrooms here. So if you are waiting for somebody in the restroom, or this is a meeting place for you, you can also charge your phone in several of these spots. All right, now let's head over to Epcot. I'm gonna talk about my favorite restroom in all of Disney World pretty much, and that's at the Odyssey Center in Epcot. The restrooms here are open to the public, even though the Odyssey is often used as a private dining location or a private event location. You can head over into the restrooms and they are huge, they are massive restrooms. And also they are decorated in like the original 1982 tile. It's like brown and beige tile, it's so great. But I swear it's the original 1982 tile. Maybe I'm wrong, you guys can let me know if I am, but it looks like it's the original and I remember that tile from when I was a kid. So the Odyssey Center, you'll find Find it right between the Mexico Pavilion and Test Track is where you're going to find the Odyssey Center. The next one a lot of people don't know about and don't use very often are the Soren restrooms, the restrooms over by Soren in the Land Pavilion. So these are kind of tucked back next to the Soren ride. You're not really going to use them unless you're riding Soren or you're dining at Sunshine Seasons. So these are good ones to use and not too many long lines. If you are at the land and those restrooms are fully occupied, head upstairs really quickly. There are restrooms over by Garden Grill that are often not too crowded either. And then finally, the American Adventure. A lot of people don't even know that there's a restroom there, but of course there is. The American Adventure Liberty Inn, if you go to the left along the wall of Liberty Inn, 
there is a restroom. It's way, 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 way back there. So you wouldn't just stumble upon it. You kind of have to know it's there or follow the signs. That one's another large restroom that isn't often too crowded. Another great restroom over in American Adventure is going to be over the Heritage Gallery. And that one is to the right of American Adventure. And it's a really beautiful bathroom, actually. So if you head back in there, it's uh, sort of behind the... I don't know, I guess it's sort of like an an awning, or it's not an awning, but it's like a structure built there. So if you head back in there, that's where the Heritage Gallery bathrooms are, and those are great as well. All right, let's head over to Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios has a couple of interesting and fun restrooms, as well as some rarely used ones. First up, we're going to talk about the restrooms at Brown Derby Restaurant. Now, of course, these are probably only for people dining at Brown Derby, but if you have an emergency, head over head over in there. You head into Brown Derby, but you're just going to walk through the lobby and then go over to your left. And back there is where the restrooms are going to be. So you're not actually having to walk through a restaurant or anything like that. You're just sort of walking into the lobby. And there's also external doors accessing that location too. So it's relatively easy to get to. A lot of people don't know it's there. So it's a good one to use. Over in Muppet Courtyard, you can go to Gonzo's Royal Flush, which is really fun. We love the theming and the imagineering here. It's standard. Standard Muppets, hijinks, lots of fun. They're larger restrooms. Usually the lines won't be too long there. A few more over at Hollywood Studios that you're going to want to note in your bathroom spreadsheets, which I know you guys all have, so please send me a copy of those. Um, Hollywood Studios Launch Bay. So if you go to Star Wars Launch Bay, this is where the animation classes used to be held, kind of back in that area where they had meet and greets and stuff like that, right at the exit of One Man Stream. Again, this one's a little bit farther away, but it is very close to a main thoroughfare. So if you're kind of in an emergency situation, you're going to be able to get here without too much effort. So don't worry about it. But again, not a lot of people go back there, so it's not going to be too crowded. Also, we do recommend those restrooms at Tower of Terror and at Rock and Roller Coaster. I like the Tower of Terror ones a little bit better because, again, those are going to be much less used and they're going to be much less crowded because you kind of have to go up the hill and around. Nobody's going to use them unless you're riding Tower of Terror. So those are good ones to use as well back there. And then finally, Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood Studios. There are restrooms basically right across the street from Villains in Vogue slash Sunset Ranch Market. There's going to be a little inlet in the sidewalk there and there's going to be some restrooms there as well. So those are good ones to use. And finally, we'll head over to Animal Kingdom. So the best restrooms to use in Animal Kingdom are always going to be the ones at Rafiki's Planet Watch because it's way far away. (laughs) Um, So those are are not very commonly stumbled upon restrooms, so those are going to be rarely used. But we also have to tell you about the awesome restrooms in Pandora. If you head into Pandora, the restrooms there are so beautiful. I mean, they're obviously well-imagineered because Pandora is the newest land in Disney World at the moment and a lot of thought went into even the restroom tile which is just gorgeous so go check out the Pandora restrooms they're really nice all right another one in Animal Kingdom is going to be in Dino Land and I love Dino Land you guys know I love Dino Land I get it's kitschy I get it's tongue-in-cheek but Joe Rohde says that there's a lot more to it than you think and I believe Joe Rohde so over the bathroom in Dino Land again this one's a good one because it's a little bit farther out it's not on a main thoroughfare people aren't going to be passing it all the time so so there's going to be fewer lines over there at that restroom. Don't forget to head into the Chester and Hester's store next door, which is really, really fun. Lots of sight gags and lots of great Disney Imagineering in there, too. Also in Animal Kingdom, don't forget the Festival of the Lion King restroom. Another one that's good because it's kind of far out there, but don't forget, they've just built that new walkway from Pandora over to Harambe, and that goes right past this restroom. A lot of people aren't going to be on that walkway there. They don't know it's there yet because it's brand new. So this is a very nice little walk to get from Pandora to Harambe without having to go through Discovery Island. And there's also a great restroom there that's not going to be all that crowded. Over by the Maharaja Jungle Trek, so this is kind of going to be behind Yak and Yeti counter service next to Kali River Rapids and next to Maharaja Jungle Track. There is a restroom. You may know it from the cool fountain that's on once in a while over there. This one's a really big restroom. They have really powerful hand dryers because a lot of people have to dry out their clothes after Kali River Rapids. And it's very, very big. So there's going to be a lot of room in there. Not too many lines in that one either. Okay, and finally, I want to talk about the guest services restroom. So these are the restrooms that are outside the turnstiles. Before you go 
go through the turnstiles or after you come out of the park, there are some restrooms usually by guest services. There's one around the corner from guest services at Magic Kingdom and right next to guest services over there in Animal Kingdom. And Hollywood Studios has a great one around the corner from guest services that nobody ever knows is even there. These are rarely used because either people are headed into the park or they're headed out of the park and they don't even think that there's going to be a restroom out there. So these are uniformly going to be good restrooms to use, large restrooms to use, because sometimes they do get used there at the end when people are leaving after fireworks and things like that. But generally, just during the day, these aren't going to be too crowded. So these are good ones to use as well. Now, there's a couple of interesting and fun restrooms that we wanted to tell you about as well while we're doing a restroom video. First up, head over to Abracadabra on the boardwalk. It's over in the boardwalk inn and Abracadabra has really fun imagineering and theming. It's got an old fashioned magician theme. So there's some really fun signage and really cool details leading to the restroom and around the restrooms there at Abracadabra. We love the restrooms at Sanaa. A lot of people never are gonna see these restrooms because Sanaa is over in Kidani Village in Animal Kingdom Lodge. And you're really not gonna be there unless you're either staying at Kidani Village, which is a Disney Vacation Club member property, or you're dining at Sanaa. And these restrooms are absolutely beautiful. They're actually stunning. So good ones to check out if you're over in that area. I do love the Skipper Canteen restrooms in the Magic Kingdom as well. And finally, the deluxe resorts are always fun places to use the restroom because a lot of them are very well appointed, very fancy, and have those cloth towels instead of the disposable towels. And they're just nice restrooms to use if you happen to be in the deluxe resorts like Grand Floridian or Yacht and Beach Club or the Contemporary. Those are some of our favorite restrooms around Walt Disney World. Please let us know what you think. What are your thoughts about the least crowded restrooms or the ones you definitely want to head for when you're in the parks during a busy time? Again, we are always trying to provide value here at DFB Guide, so I hope this helped out a few of you who are headed to Disney World during particularly busy times this year. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What are your favorite restrooms to use in Disney World and which ones do you think are particularly well imagineered? Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe and go check out our other valuable uh, footage on this channel. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.